Hello, it's half six and I'm only just finally sitting down and introducing this video. It has come that time again where I film for a week, starting the 23rd of July, that is today, to commemorate the MAD series that I did back in 2018, which was documenting every single day for, I think I did about three months, my life and my mental health, and just really giving a raw, honest insight to what it is like, or was like at the time, living with BPD. So yeah, that is why I do this every year. But first I just wanted to mention that this year is going to be a little bit different. So instead of doing one video per day and uploading it every day, this is going to be a weekly vlog. I've never done a weekly vlog vlog before um so i don't know how it's gonna go i just find every year that i don't like the pressure of having to edit a video and upload every single day albeit it's only four seven days but i still feel like it impacts my week and then doesn't give a quite a true reflection of what's actually going on so yeah i'm just gonna do one big video at the end of the week but yeah anyway what has been going on um let's do this in true maddy style let's get a beer Cheers. The reason I was at Mum's this morning and have come back is because a week and a half ago, Jack and I broke up. So I stayed at my Mum's since, um, just so I wasn't on my own and stuff. Vinny and Stella came with me, obviously, and the rats stayed here and I've been coming back every day to see to them. This is it, I am on my own again. And also, you may have noticed if I've kept it in, Stella wasn't in her cage anymore because she died on Sunday. Um, so yeah, it was quite a really good week for me. Despite everything that's gone on, um, I am alright. I would say I'm handling it all quite, like, better than I expected. I just wanted to kind of come on and sit down and actually say hello, how are you, hope everyone's doing okay, and here's to another year commemorating the Mad series. Please understand that we're strong, understand where we're going, understand life be flowing, dreaming as you be talking to me. Come on, dudes. Are you? Ernie? Teddy? Good boy. Come, Ralph. Come. Good boy. Yes, yes, yes. Ready? Come on then. There you go. Good boy. It is the 24th of July, day two. Plan for today is really boring stuff again. I've got more washing to do, which is really exciting. I just feel so bloody tired and unmotivated today.
военный. I haven't filmed a lot today because I ended up not doing anything. I just took it as a chill Sunday and it was just on FaceTime for majority of the afternoon and evening. I shall leave tonight here. I'm going to bed now. So yeah, see you in the morning. Morning, Vinny. So, uh, oh, fucking hell. <laughs> it's just tripped through the door. I haven't even done a night shift, so what's my excuse for falling all over the gap? It's funny, because if, if you were on FaceTime, it would have followed you. <laughs> yeah. Guaranteed, you would have been like, oh, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, it's happening. Because I want to just get home and go to bed, but I would have to do something first. Mm. So often, hourly text. Oh, mate, yeah. I was like, yeah, she's awake, and then you said the attack with your eyes shut, and I was like, never mind. <laughs> Thank you for talking to me. It kept me awake, but I'm now going to go to bed. That's alright. <laughs> Cheers. Have a good night. Alright, have a good day. Thanks, yeah. bye. bye. I'm off to the gym now, meeting mum there. Oh, actually, I've got to quickly stop at a shop first and get some monsters because I've run out. Right now, we can go to the gym. Last night. Last night? Mm. I went out during the day. Two quid. It's <laughs> <laughs> not far off two quid. Just got back from the shops. Not quite sure the last time. Oh, I was at Mum's when I last filmed. Then I've been to Pets at Home, been to Lidl, went for a bit of a drive. And now I'm going to put the shopping away. Vinny's already decided he's going to help me. He started uh, unpacking for me. He's got his lettuce out. He knows what he wants. Go on then. It's yours anyway, so you can do it. No? Can't be bothered? No? You want me to do it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do it then. I'll do it then. He's now discovered the other bag of snacks. Go on then, get them out if you can smell them. Go on. What can you smell? <laughs> Come on. Boy, come in. It's now snack time, I believe. What do we want, boys? Vinny, what do you want? This one or this one? That one, okay. Come here. Walk, walk. Keep going, good boy. He's a bit big, but I feel like you can handle it. Go on, Teddy, you're the biggest, you can have the big bit. There you go, Ralph. How nice, then. Good morning, Vin. It's 10 to 1, been fart arsing around all morning to be honest. Just doing like general stuff like tidying, singing in the shower, having a dance around with Finn. Feel like I've accomplished a lot this morning. Anyway, quickly having a protein bar. Training back and by today. My brother's coming with me, he's also doing the same, so I don't really know what his back and by's workout looks like. Hopefully not too different to mine so we can do it together. It's very embarrassing trying to film yourself in the gym on your own. 
any clips that I've included so far in editing. Vinny! From the gym, there's only like a few exercises out of the entire workout that I've been like actually filming because it's just a bit long filming my entire workout because if that's, if that's what I wanted to do then I'd make an actual video on what I do at the gym. This is the weirdest way to weigh yourself. <laughs> what the fuck? We don't have scales yet, so. come home I've had some dinner and I'm now going to start getting ready because I'm going to the pub tonight this is what I look like I'm wearing I don't know what this is a blouse what do you call it a blouse and a dress <laughs> my boots I'm gonna head off now walk into town normal day hand <laughs> from the fucking fire. Yeah. This is my other hand. Wiggle the thumbs. Ow. I can't <laughs> move it any further than that. I actually can't move it any further than that. Fuck <laughs> like you and your mum. Oh. <laughs> oh, what's the police's number? We're gonna call them. What we like? Has got lighter? No. <laughs> You're joking. The first time not being in A&E because of my mental health. I call that progress. I'm hungry. Morning, guys. It's Wednesday morning. Quarter past nine in the morning. We've been in hospital since half five. Oh, you get an x ray. You get an x ray. Oh, you get an x ray. Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> You've been here like what? Five hours? Four hours? Four, five, four hours? Four Two hours. Minutes. At least you're getting a jab. I've got a paper tail. Tail. <laughs> I'm not coming out of you anymore. <laughs> Is that your pass? <laughs> oh, it's quarter past ten in the morning. I've just got home. What a night. I've been in A&E for five hours and I'll tell you for why. I accidentally got stabbed by a nail. Like a dirty old nail. Dirty nails you usually think, mm, tetanus. Probably should go get that sorted out. So we did. Five hours later, she wiped it with water. <laughs> Lovely. Good afternoon. I've managed to sleep for two and a half hours. <laughs> What's the least of one? I don't know, I just get a bit stubborn, I guess. Just... Marge, that black fan is spying on us. Oh, homie, you're so sexy when you're paranoid. Mm. Yes, yeah, so I'm watching watch, someone play like, Hit and Run. It's of the Simpsons for comfort. Online. It's fantastic. <laughs> now, there are ads on there. Oh, 
I was too drunk to even fucking realise he had been crying. <laughs> I was off my head. And then, and then, and then it, was, it was back to it, it was back to like, putting all the show we can. They hated us. They really didn't like it. I, I saw people laughing. They were laughing. Fuck, I'm always on the mic like this. We haven't done that in our just What a night, what a day. What a day. Hard, isn't it, being a parent? I'm knackered. You made me tired, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> One day you'll nice. be a parent. Mm. Being a dad. And this is not even the real deal. Imagine I spent majority of the day watching hit and run, Simpsons hit and run gameplay. <laughs> Just because. And then Nothing But Thieves documentary thing about how they've got to where they have over the years. And that was really nice because I've followed them since 2015, at which is, I think they went back to 2014. Teen. So yeah, like, so pretty much all of it, apart from the first year, I've been, um, following them. Very nostalgic. And then they did a live Q&A afterwards for like half an hour, which I also watched. And it was just really nice. <laughs> Love them. I'm going to bed now. Tomorrow. Get my life back on track. Well, all in all, it was a good night last night. It just accidentally went a bit wrong. So yeah, I shall see you in the morning. Hey Google, what's the date? It's Thursday, the 28th of July, 2022. Meaning we've only got one so we've got today and we've got tomorrow and then that is it. What the hell? I've not even done anything this week. Apart from Tuesday. At least it's realistic though. Do you know what day it is? You do? Do you want to come tell them? It's one year ago today that I got you. <laughs> Plans for today. Not a lot. Gym and therapy. And that's all. And let me fall You're pushing me sideways Be all I go And I know you're sorry But do the right thing Come through but let me fall That's a bit little, isn't it? We're gonna buy Mr. Plow and then we'll do a race or two in Mr. Plow. That's what I want to do. This car just handles so well though, couldn't it? Right, I've got ready, I've had lunch. Nearly two o'clock, so I've got therapy now. So I'm going to just grab my stuff and go. Therapy is so like, for me at the moment, because I just keep crying. <laughs> I hate crying in therapy so much. And like the last three sessions, maybe four, definitely the last three, I either don't speak or I cry. <laughs> it just sucks the fucking soul out of me at the moment. Don't want to talk about what's going on. I don't know, I just don't know what I think or feel anymore regarding some stuff but also mainly myself my whole like sense of self and identity and just me as a person I don't know I thought I was one way and then when you get told it's another it's like well shit but then it's not explained as to why it just leaves me feeling really like confused and paranoid of how I am around people and you know, am I doing this am I doing that like and it just gets a bit exhausting in your own head because and then it just leaves me not wanting to be around anyone to be honest don't want to put myself out there don't want to talk to people don't want to socialize or be friends or see see anyone because I just don't know what's real during filming this week I really don't feel like I've sat down that much and actually spoken till right now really certainly not as much as I usually do. The big picture of my whole channel, the reason why, you know, I always go, oh, I'm gonna post more, I've got more, like, new ideas, blah, 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 blah. I've got stuff that I've filmed, even, like, I even film stuff and then I never post it because I don't 
like me. I don't want to. I know that everybody. This is what my fucking therapist keeps saying. It's like you you're, you think for other people. You you decide what they're thinking and feeling. And I'm like okay. So I'm about to do that right now. Um, but like I don't want people to have to watch me and then I know that's black and white thinking because the grey area is they choose to click on it they're choosing to watch it if they want to or not I know that but it I almost feel like by posting there's an expectation that I want whoever who passes it to watch it otherwise why would you post it of course I do like this every year for myself but still I would like someone to do and watch it but it is it is for myself. But I mean, just the videos in general, like especially like the like the more helpful ones, like the sit down talking more serious ones. Well, yeah, they they aren't for me. If, if they're informational, like my last one, like how to get into uni, like I'm not making that for myself because I've I've done it. Like I I've, I like I said, I'm making this because I wanted this a year like a couple of years ago. So that one isn't for me, and as much as I, I want to do more stuff like that, I just can't get over this this barrier in my head that I just really hate myself. <laughs> and I don't want people to have to even see me, acknowledge my existence, hear me. I, like, I have nothing to say, I have nothing to offer, and it's so fucking entitled of myself to create stuff and videos, be it for fun, for myself, for other people, informational, educational, whatever, I just find it so cringy that I'm even, even trying, even putting myself out there, you know, with the assumption that people will watch it, or people will like it, or people, will, whatever, it's just, ugh, like, I just, I can't hack it, and so, that's why I come back to YouTube here and there because I do enjoy it. I, you know, I always wanted to make videos before deciding to study psychology. I always studied film, and that's what industry I wanted to go to into, and that's what I wanted to study at uni. I always, I've made videos since I was in primary school, and whenever you look at older videos. I made. I'm not in them. I'm filming everyone else. I, I didn't want to be in front of the camera. And like there is a part of me at the time where like growing up I was like oh it almost like um, reinforces how I feel about myself that I am nobody and I'm nothing and I'm invisible and nobody needs me because you watch these videos and I'm not in them. I don't exist. You might get a quick glimpse of me having a fucking cigarette, just so I'm a part of it, but the rest is just other people. So that's why since like the Mad series where I actually started to film myself more, because that was the point, you know, they're not happy montages or skits of other people having fun, documenting just the pure shit of it, the completed utter brutal reality of being mentally ill, that was it. And that was really hard at first. But I almost feel like because it was just such a car crash, because my life and I was a car crash, I almost didn't care as much because that was the point. It was to be honest, it was to not make anything look good, it's to not care. Because I didn't care. I and I didn't I didn't whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like it kind of worked in that way because I was <laughs> not all there. And um not saying that I'm all there now, because if I was, I wouldn't have this fucking internal conflict <laughs> of wanting to post and do stuff and have a voice and be seen and be heard and, 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 and make some kind of mark on people's lives. But at the same time, just cannot fucking stand myself. I feel stupid. I can't articulate things properly. I hate the way I look. I hate the way I sound. I just want to feel good enough. Like I addressed at the beginning of this week, Jack and I broke up and like I said in therapy just now, I thought that this version, this, yeah, this version of who I am now was the best yet. I am the happiest, most stable self I've been and I've really tried to work on myself where in areas that I know I'm not good at, like with attachment and stuff and I thought that was recognised, or I was told it was recognised, and the way things have panned out, I now just don't know what I'm like. Everything that I thought was the best yet is not good enough. 
And I'm not saying I'm fucking perfect. I know I know what I'm like, and I know I can be hard at times, but so can everyone, not an excuse. But I do genuinely believe that this has been the best I've been as a person, like the best person that I've been in years. And for that to then be the reason why, or the given reason, that's the bit I'm struggling with at the moment. So yeah, that's where I'm at the moment. Um, that's my explanation as well for this year being shit. Thanks for listening to my TED talk. Right, perked myself up. Um, gonna go get Bella and then we're going to the gym. I'm just hungry. I just want like a pint and some chips, classic. Can't go wrong. <gasps> Onwards. my iPad, why are you doing that? Oh, you gave me charging problems already. Good morning! Oh god, I thought something was going to fall on me then. So it is Friday the 29th, which means it is the last day already. Where the hell has this week gone? It's like quarter to ten now. Quickly necking this, going to pick Bella up and we're going to the gym. That was a close one. <laughs> That's what's happening now, we've got quads and calves today. I'm not quite prepared for that. Where's my monster? <sighs> That's what's happening this morning. I've got hairdressers this afternoon, which I'm a little bit nervous about. I have <laughs> massive anxiety about going to hairdressers. I have not been since five years ago and before that I hadn't been for like seven years or something ridiculous like that so yeah I've been to the hairdressers once in 12 years so that's how much I don't like the hairdressers why is this not charging that's a bit concerning is it my charger or is it this plug brilliant why is my charger not working and I'm back from the gym, dropped Bella off, I had to quickly run back here because I'd had a parcel delivered in a safe place. Hmm, yeah, I think outside my build, out, not my building, outside in the hallway where everyone walks past is a really safe place. And now I'm going to the hairdressers. Yay. Oh, I'm all sweaty. Give us a little, <laughs> give us a little spin. <laughs> wow. How elegant. <laughs> Like that, you can't really be elegant, can you? No, I stood up and all the backs of my legs had been sweating, so the chair was just soaked in sweat. I was like, sorry about my sweaty legs. <laughs> Did you actually say that? Yeah. Oh, sorry about my sweaty legs. Yeah, I perspired a notch. You sweaty bastard. Yeah. Right, so I've had the air cut. I don't know if I've included it in the edit, but this morning my iPad wasn't working or not charging. So we're now rushing to an appointment at Apple. Um, to go and hopefully get it sorted because I only got it fucking 10 days ago so women huh? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? the girl is not like this 
and you get this. The shrimp outfit. The <laughs> shrimp outfit. <laughs> shrimp. Oh, here we go. He didn't want any. Now he's going to steal all of mine. No, I'm going to go out. No. That's a trip. <laughs> Right. Oh, I fucking hate it, so Yeah. <laughs> Just hello. Okay. Hello. We're going out. Nothing more to say on that matter. Here's the outfit. Um, <laughs> nothing else got filmed. That was that was the end. So I've just finished editing and thought it's probably best I come and say goodbye. Sorry that this week was a bit naff. I'm not gonna lie, the following days from the last clip you've just seen, that weekend and the week onwards was far more busier and entertaining than that week was. But oh well, it's sod's law, isn't it? Nonetheless, hope you've enjoyed it. I must say I have quite enjoyed doing it as a weekly vlog instead of individual ones. Do feel free to let me know what you think of this format and if it's something that you like are uh, more than happy to continue doing it this way. I also feel like I quite fancy doing um, weekly vlogs just here and there because it was quite fun to do I guess despite having nothing going on. But yeah, thank you for watching if you have and I shall see you in the next one. <laughs>